Hello, and welcome to another Valdi Systems dry cleaning software tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to pick up a ticket. So obviously, you're going to have to have dry, uh, Vivaldi dry cleaning software installed on your computer and make sure that there's a shortcut on your desktop uh, indicated by this icon up at the top. Uh, so let's pretend that um, you already written a ticket. Uh, the ticket is then processed through the system. After the clothes are clean, you can click on the sign location on the main menu or mark the ticket ready. So let's load up a volley so that we have the main menu up and running. Let's click not now. And so this is the main screen. So when the customer comes back, uh, you either press pick up or click F3 on your keyboard um, on the main screen and then select the customer from the customer window. Okay, so this screen is the customer search window. The customer list, you can either type a customer phone number or a name. Once the name is highlighted, you can either press enter, double click, or press a big select button on the center down at the bottom. So for this demo, we're going to click, uh, let's do Chris Alexander. And let's double click. Once the pickup window has come up and you chosen the wrong customer, for instance, you could uh, click the customer search uh, button up on the upper right hand corner or F11. But for right now, we're just going to continue this demo. Um, if the customer is correct, you can see the number of tickets that were written. The, the screen does display the tickets that are currently on process and that are not yet racked nor ready. It also displays all the tickets that are ready. So as you can see, uh, the ticket number will display on the left, uh, including the class, the location, the status, the date the item came in, and the date when the item is ready to be picked up. It will also show the, um, the dollar amount on the right, and even the deposit. You can assign the ticket a location by assigning the location on the main menu. Then the location will appear on the right of the ticket number as it's Edit as it is shown here. So LOC stands for location, CL stands for class. So D stands for dry cleaning and A stands for alteration. Okay, so you will see various amounts of tickets written for the customer, especially on this window. If you double click on the ticket, the items will appear on the left lane. So let's double click on this 10010. And so as you can see there on this ticket, it shows one item. So it, show, it shows one shoelace, uh, which is $5.95, and it's currently in the store. As soon as you do that, you're able to edit the ticket using the button below the description if you wish to do so. So just make sure that the correct ticket is double-clicked uh, or else it really won't work. So for instance, if I don't double-click on this one, on, on the current ticket, and I highlight the, the bottom one, it won't edit the ticket. So um, currently it will still edit the, the previous one. So let's make sure that you double click on the, on the selected ticket. So for this one, it'll do zero, no, 10011. So when we click on edit ticket, so yeah, let's do that right now. Um, you'll have all these available options uh, especially by removing this certain items or adding new lines or which will kind of refer back to you to the uh, uh, writing the ticket on the, on the on a previous video we've done and editing the ticket which is basically the same window uh, when you're done make sure you click save and print and it'll um bring close and save and it'll go back to the the ticket window for picking it up Oh, and just make sure that you don't have to reprint the ticket, but if you want to, or the customer wishes for one, you have the capability to do so. So, as we've already done so, um, make sure you click close and save on the edit window. And once you've made all your changes, you are prompt back to this pickup window with the changes refreshed once again. Actually, this is one of the new features we've already added. If the customer has an email added, email address added onto their account, uh, you can email their receipt to them at any time by clicking on this button right here. Now that you've made the final adjustments, you could select ticket by single clicking it and a red check appears right next to it. So uh, let's do 8527, ticket number 8527. Uh, see how the 
red check mark is, uh, appears right next to it, that means it's selected. And we could do this on multiple items. So let's just do three of them. The total dollar amounts is added onto the box down on the lower right. So to the total selected and the total of all tickets listed appear above in a smaller black box with the green text, which says total of all orders listed. Finally, press the cash out and pick up button, which is the big button with the blue text and then select the form of payment. So let's click that right now. If the customer is set up as cash only because maybe they balance checks with you, you only you will only have the cash option available. If the customer only uses checks as a form of payment, that option will be available as well. If the customer is put on a customer account window as add on account, as it says on op option number four, that would be available for you. Oh, and also number three, if you have X charge hooked up up for free credit card processing through Vivaldi and you could either you could ask the customer for their credit card just swap the card and it will be processed through the internet another option that Vivaldi offers is to only pick up the items and pay later as shown as the, in this button down uh, on the lower screen it will keep it on the list for the next time they come in and that's what what they will owe you it will also indicate that the location is set as customer um, once, you, once you've done it. And so it'll show here on location on the previous screen, um, set as customer. But for this demo, we've enabled all of the options. Um, so we're just going to be using cash at this moment. So let's click cash. The following screen will ask you for the tendered amounts. The buttons below are tendered amounts, such as this is a $10 bill, this is a $20 bill, the $50 bill, and even a $100 bill. Uh, the buttons on the right can also be used as well for your convenience. Um, so for this ticket, um, it's the total amount due is $19.25. Let's pretend they paid with a $20 bill, and just make sure you click cash out and pick up, and it'll indicate how much change you need to be needs to be given back. So the change amount is you need to get back 75 cents. At this point, if you have a cash drawer connected to your computer, the drawer, the drawer will pop open. Uh, once you're done giving the customer the change, just click OK on the window and you're back to the main menu. And that is how you pick up a ticket.